Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this off and I'm going to put a Y connector in here so then that way this can always be open and hooked up to use the misters inside the greenhouse and then the other side is always going to be open and hooked up to a secondary barrel. So as this fills up, the, uh, the levels in the barrel will be, um, the height of the barrels will be the same. So with a Y connector here, one hose will go into the misting system and another hose is going to go over to the other barrel. So as this barrel fills up, it'll actually, um, water will go into the, the second barrel so both of them will fill at the same time. So I'm just going to take all this apart. Turn the misting system on just to make sure I don't have any leaks. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to build a stand on this side, similar to this one, using four by fours. Um, this time, instead of building one just for a single barrel. I'm going to build one long enough for two more barrels. Uh, that way if I decide to extend it to a third barrel, then I've, I've already got the platform built and I already got another Y connector too. That way I can leave that one, um, the second section of the Y connector closed, and then add on to it later on. That way I don't have to take anything apart. In my build video for the uh, solar um, misting system, somebody pointed out that these clear lines, when exposed to light, will allow algae and things to grow inside the tube. So rather than replace the tube, I've got electrical tape. So I'm going to go ahead and black it out. And some of this tape, I think I should be good. I do need to put a filter on this though, because I've noticed that 
two of my nozzles in the misting system seem to be plugged up. The pollen is so bad that uh, I think it's getting in this barrel, it's getting in the line and it's gumming up the system. So I'm going to get one of those RV filters that you put on like a, a camper or something. I think that'll do the trick. Now I got this barrel from Tractor Supply and they come with a um, threaded sealed section and they come with a uh, like a normal faucet. So that's why I'm using a hose. I didn't want to drill into this and run into any problems because these things aren't cheap and I wanted it to be nice. I wanted it to look nice so that's why I decided to go with one of these. But I'm going to use some plumber's tape. So let me see, counterclockwise. It's another thing I learned from somebody who left a comment on the channel was when I did the original rain barrel, I put the tape the wrong way. I left a comment and I went back and watched it and realized that yeah they were right so I came out and I redid it. Make sure my seal is in there good. So this is just a standard um, six foot hose with uh, two female ends and they both have seals on them. So I'm going to go ahead and hook these two barrels up. Yeah, I'm going to put some clips on this to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't become a tripping hazard as well. Alright, I actually changed the way that the hose is routed. Um, I have it going down first because it seems to transfer the water better. Even though it has to come up over here, eventually the two barrels will balance out because the weight of this will find um, less resistance and it will push it down through this tube. It is draining into this one, it's just moving kind of slow. I'm hoping um, next couple days we get some rain, then I'll get a, a chance to see how it really works. But um, it, sh it should be fine. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, and uh, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Until next time.